Alrighty, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Random Fighter Select. It's been a while. It's been a while. I hope you guys have missed this series as much as I have, and I am very, very excited to bring it to you guys once again. The very first fighter is in the middleweight division. We're using Kristoff Jatko. Um, I have never used this fighter in this game before, and that makes me very excited. I cannot wait to test him out. Um, <clears throat> I do know that... He is a striker, and uh, we're facing Michael Bisbang. Michael Bisbang is like the Nick Diaz of this weight class, so we're going to be very, very careful with the pressure. No touch. My man is a southpaw. Woo. Jesus. What a terrible character model. He is so bottom heavy. It's just... Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. That's gonna get you KO'd. He heard him with that hook. How about that chin? That uppercut is right there. It's right there all day. He's gonna stand right in front of me. The uppercut right hook. Uh-huh. Set him down right there. Dude, I cannot get over this character model. What in the hell is going on right now? Again? Oh, he's got that shot. You thought <laughs> it's over. You thought I was gonna go for the overhand again. No sir. Oh my god, that one was quick. And I am very happy that I'm very happy the fight ended as fast as it did because man. Oh uppercut. Catch him clean. You guys remember the first time that we rocked when we went for the overhand and he thought we were gonna go for it again, so he ducked directly into the uppercut. And it that did it. Very glad this one ended quickly because I would have stared at this man's bottom heavy, small head character model all fight long. And there is the undisputed king of the My goodness. Pounders, the UFC Let's move on, people. The world, and how about the knockout to get the job done tonight? All right, next up, Hoist Gracie. We're facing the notorious Conor McGregor. You guys know we're going to need to take this one to the ground, and I will try to see if I can get a submission. If not, you know, we'll just make sure that we we, we, uh, we use his grappling. Um, my submission skills are very, very bad in this game. They're very, very terrible, but... We're gonna do our very best. I mean, one thing's for certain. We cannot stand with Conor McGregor. Even if it's a bad, bad player, it's just not a good idea at all. So, let's do it. Thank you, sir. See if I can use a slip straight and take him down. Nothing there, damn. The man is uh and a left hand behind it. See if we can use a slip straight and take him down. There we go. The hell? Oh, I know why. Ugh. Shouldn't have gone for the single leg. McGregor gets back up. Gracie's got the clinch here early. Mm -mm. And he goes to the knee to the body. Uh, another knee right to the Let's Try to take his back. No. Let's Let's backpack, my man. Oh, no. I went the wrong way. Crap. Oh, my God. Uh, trying to take that man's back, and I pushed up. Oh, no. He's denying it now. Midway through round one. He got tagged there. Damn. Fuck, oh, man. I keep making these damn mistakes. Knees right here. He's no. Knees the body. Lands one. Gracie's got the over-under now. 
There's a good knee to the body. I catch a kick, and rather than take him down, I punch him in the head. And again, keeping that knee on the midsection. I gotta buckle, gotta buckle up. There you go. First and he's back. Is there. Gracie gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Well, you gotta be walking off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Mm -mm. I wonder what determines who the crowd cheers for. Because I hear them cheering Brazil. Uh, let's get the side control right there. And we'll see if we can hold this a little bit. We've got a Kimura right there. We're going to put that in the back, back pocket. Hold on. Big punch from the bottom. Side control again. See if we can drain him a little bit. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, elbow to the head. He's doing a great job of ground and pound here. Ripping to the body and to the head. Top mount is right there. We can just go to top mount from here. 30 seconds to go. It's back to half guard. Gets out of the full mount. Mm. There he goes. Side control. Nice. All right, let's go for that Kimura. Kimura, he's got a <laughs> He knows we don't have enough time. All right, whatever. That should be my round, I think. I think. Then again, he was able to land a few shots on the feet. You know how this game works, man. It's all about the damage. If you're able to land more damage on the feet, the grappling really gets canceled out. So, if we can keep this on the ground, that would be ideal. Thank you, sir. Oh, no. Takes a lot of practice to make a jab look that easy. Lands flush again. Trying to move my head. Trying to be elusive, but so far. Beautiful hand skills here. The right look at him. He's just teeing off. He avoids the clinch. He's just teeing off on me right now. The shot. See the total it's okay. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'll get him down. See if we can use a slip or a duck takedown. I'm just going to go for the, for the double leg next time. Oh no! Oh, he might be out. We need to take this man down. Oh! The double leg will do it. Hold on. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Just relax, stay calm. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Punches block. There it is. And that was a single still. I guess Royce Gracie does not have a double leg. That single was fast. I clearly went for a double, but I guess he doesn't have a double leg. That is not good, man. He's in side control now. He goes to the knee of the body and it's there. Well, he may need to drop the elbows here defensively, Joe. How much more body damage can he take? He's moved back into side control once more. Outstanding knee there by Grace. Another nice knee there. And very effective with the ground. Yeah, we're going to try the Kimura. Goes upstairs and see if elbow. we can get it. Big elbow. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I love ground and pound. It's just, ah. He lands a big if I could describe myself on the ground, I'm more of like, I want to take you down and I want to ground and pound. I really don't want to go for subs. Good control here. That's okay. Nice here. Oh, smart man. Good job. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Uh, he's able to get back up. We got to take him down again. We just have to. Try to establish that jab. Slightly deflected. <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he is so tired. Look at this. Oh, that that, that roundhouse did him in. We might be able to knock this dude dead. He's still dangerous though. He's dangerous because he's consistently using the head movement to launch him into attacks. So we gotta, uh, gotta keep an eye on that. 
Have to keep a close eye on that. Now starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. On his back. Yeah, baby. This is it. Oh, I can't believe he got that. How about that shin? Constantly a moving target. See the speed difference here? Usually I'm able to counter with that rear uppercut, but horse is so slow, he's just not working. Got him. Moving your head all over the place. This ain't season one. Come here. There you go. He's got stacked here. He's got to be careful. He's got stacked here though. He's trapped into a triangle. Uh uh. There's that Kimura. Let's let's try it. He's got a Kimura. He's looking for the Kimura here and so. Oh, this is so bad. I'm terrible. This is horrible. Let's just let's just go for it. Let's just try and sub him. I'm gonna go for as many as I can and see if I can get it. Deny a sub. There you go. Let's go for it. Let's try it again. This is better. Nope. And yeah, screwed it up again. Let's try it again. That's better. Okay, so we're predicting him better now. There we go. Come on. One more. Fuck out of here. Uh, I'm such a bum when it comes to subs, man. <laughs> it's nowhere near. He's got the arm here. He's gone. He's out. Turns the hips. He's gonna sit back. Yeah, he's out. Uh. Yeah, I'm just trying. Go. Please tell me he's got the two gate. He doesn't. All right, that does it. I think we won the fight. We couldn't submit him, but I tell you guys, man, I've been I've been working on my submissions in, in this game for as long as I can remember. It's just not it's just not something I'm gonna get better at. It's just I'm just not good at mini games. I'm just not. You know, I I play quite a few of those types of games versus my wife, like mobile games, and she always whoops my ass all the time because I'm, I'm just terrible at them. All right, let's see who won. There we go. We got it. We got the win. So fight number two is success. We've used two... Polar opposite types of fighters. One, a weird southpaw striker. Number two, a, a dedicated jujitsu fighter. Let's see who we get next, people. Leave a like if you're enjoying the video. Next up is in the lightweight division. We are using Will Brooks facing the cowboy Donald Cerrone. Will Brooks is a fighter that I am familiar with. I have used him quite a bit. I do enjoy using the character. Um, I, I enjoy his striking. He has some nice strikes that I like specifically the spin to the body. And he also has the grappling in the back pocket. This man starts things off with the... Uh, 
and leg kick combination. Oh, big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at that, nice. Another brutal leg kick by Donald Cerrone. That is spot on, Joe. Very good job of timing these shots here. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. We're gonna deal with that with pressure. This is over. The left hook hits home. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? There you go. That foot sees. It's over. It's done. Mm -hmm. All right. Where is your where is layer? Where's your second layer? That was the first one. Show me, show me Plan B, brother. It's over. There it is. Yes. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. No. There it is. Works the strike attempt. There is blocked. Uh huh. So gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. I genuinely oh. set him down. I genuinely don't know how to explain what I'm doing right now. I truly don't know. But if you're a high level player you, and you, you're watching this, you understand exactly what's going on. Set him down again. You understand how he got that rock. It's the footsies. No, stop that. Uh, let me see if I can articulate it. Um. Gets here I gotta think my way up. through it. There are certain things with this game that you just gotta feel. That's very difficult to explain. The, no, he got it. Those are the differences between some of the best players in the world. They're just certain things that you learn from experience that you can't really explain. What he was doing is he was commanding the distance and he was commanding the distance because sit him down again because I was backing up and so I'm gonna stop this man in round one if he's not careful how about that shin nice knee to the body there by Donald hard straight punch blocks the shot See, right now, his whole entire game is shattered because I'm in his face. You know, he only has one layer. Yeah, he only have plan A. And he's, he's still trying to go for it, but it's not there anymore because I'm not giving him the space to play to play that footsies. And boom, right there, it's not there anymore. Rock him again. Sit him down. Okay. So he caught me with the head kick in the first round and the way he did it was he positioned me in a very specific distance then he backed up he pretended by stepping forward a little bit like he's about to move in and so I jabbed but he stepped back and positioned himself in the perfect range to, to throw a, a roundhouse to the head he threw it and he landed it and he kept he was trying to do it repeatedly in the first round you see him doing it right there? He steps in, he backs up, he gets boom. See that right there? What he's doing is he's consistently stepping, putting himself in the roundhouse range and trying to catch me there. To solve it, when you're in that range, hold block right there. Hold block, don't throw when you're in that range. And when you're not in that range, throw at him. See that, see what I'm doing right there? I'm blocking. See, he's consistently putting himself in that range, expecting me to throw something. He's gonna do it again. There's the range. No, I'm not there. I know what he's doing. He's No, he's terrible at it. He's just not good at it. And then when he's all the way on the inside, he has one strike, the knee into the elbow. He'll do it again right here. There's the range, missed. See that? He blocked the punch. Constantly a moving target. He's a he's he's a player that's slowly emerging. It's over. That does it. He's gonna get he's gonna get better. He'll get better. Because he's he's starting to feel something that you can't teach. It's something you just gotta feel the more you play the game. That 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 that, that range right there, the ability to you know step in, step in, step in, get the opponent to think you're in range, step back and then fire. It's something that he's going to get better at with time. He'll get better at it. Anyways, 
Check out this angle here. That does it. I think we're going to do one more fight and call it a day. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed that one. I'll be right back. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. I am really, really, really terrified of this matchup right here. Andre Bishop versus hands down the weirdest character to use in this whole entire weight class. Stefan Struve. Like, oh my god, man. I, <laughs> I'm going to need to do everything in my power to stay away and maybe get him to the ground or something. But we got to try and play this one smart, man. Where's my teeth, man? We need it. There we go. Oh, no. He's slipping. I mean, he's lunging. Well, we can't use the teeth because that's dangerous. I literally will not be able to exchange with him. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to need to depend on movement, outside fighting, and hopefully catch him with something or take him down. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. Nice jab. These guys are going at it here right away. Yep. Fighting like Stefan Struve oh, should, should actually be fighting. Using our jab, circling, the keeping the feet moving. Following the first rule of kickboxing, you either keep your feet moving or you keep your head up that center line. When you have a powerful man in front of you, you must do either if you can do both right now, even better misses. keep the feet moving keep the feet moving rock them oh no damn it stop I'm gonna make him pay for those body hooks. So far, I'm not able to come up with the uppercut fast enough, but we'll get it. I'll, I'll get him for it. Big overhand right. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. Man, he is really, really aggressive, man. It's okay. As long as I do what I what I need Very to do, I'm gonna Very win this blocks. fight. Especially if he keeps playing this way. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight. I just gotta stop the making mistakes. That's all. I only made I already made the first one and paid for it with my stamina. Look at this. Another one. He's hurt. He's gotta be careful there. Don't rush in. In round number two, I'm gonna knee this dude in the head like you would not believe. Because he's not respecting he's not respecting that range at all. And we need brute force to get him to respect it. He's not respecting that inside range in any way, shape, or form. He thinks he can just do whatever he wants in there. And that's not the case, man. That is not the case. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. We need brute force in here. Get out of here, bro. Come in again. Come in like that again. Sit down. He, 
moves to half guard. Struve's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe I can submit him or he something. A huge elbow to but the we head. gotta ground this guy, because that striking, I cannot deal with it. It's just too much. Now he's in full mount. Yeah, that did hurt. You saw the wince. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Let's try it. Arm triangle attempt here. And I press the home button. And I press the home button. God damn. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. I was surprised he was staying right there, man. This man is still here. I guess he's gonna die by the sword. Effective punch there by Bishop. These guys are swinging. Now we're gonna try the uppercuts. Because now he's expecting the knee. Yeah, see, he's he's slowing down. He's keeping it cleaner at right now with the. Yeah, uh, the uppercut's gonna be there. I think. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh, this could be it. Right huh? Here. It's right there. I'm still gonna go for that flying knee, though. He's hurt oh again. my gosh! Body kick. He's not hurt here. Andre Bishop is a menace in this way class he's just a problem man okay I would say that's my round I would say that's definitely my round we're able to floor him and ground him with that flying knee we dropped him twice in that round dropped him first with the with the right hook and then floored him with the with the flying knee. I see what we can do in this round, man. I, I, I would like to stop this man sooner or later. That last round was an all Keeps swinging the overhand. Oh, he was that was nowhere near. I was shadow kneeing right there. The skyscraper trying to finish. Oh man, he is so rocked. Looking for it. Oh, caught me while I was trying to. Oh, very nice. Again. Oh, he's getting rocked with the jabs now. He is so screwed now. His head is way more damaged than mine. So that's good. I can take a few more. He can't. That's not the best jab in the game. It's right up there, continuing to land and keep his. When you start getting rocked with jabs, man, that's when you know. Good defense there. That's when you know it's over. Aha. Uh -huh. It's over. I gotta give you I gotta I gotta give you that, bro. I gotta give you that. I'm so tired of Andre Bishop in this weight class. God damn. Big straight shot for the victory. Okay. That was just a gorgeous shot. One boom. Cross. And we finally stop him with strikes. Ain't that something? Boom. Man, we played that one as smart as we possibly could play it. And uh, it was successful. And we are going to end it right here. I got about 30 minutes worth of gameplay to show you guys. So that is very good. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to leave a like on the video. It really, really helps out. And share it. If you thought it was good content, share it, whatever it, wherever it is you guys share content. I uh, really, really appreciate that. But that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Keep yourself safe.
and have a wonderful day. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will part.